This video is made upon the top 10 geniuses who are still alive. We have also noted the award number of some, age, and IQ. Moving from the lowest IQs gradually will reach the highest one among them. Number 10. Stephen W. Hawking. IQ 160. Age 74. Number of awards won 14. Stephen Hawking is the most well-known name in this list. His name gained popularity thanks to his research in books written on theoretical physics, helping us to better understand the universe's structure and functioning. He made it despite his progressive disease called amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. He's also an author of seven best-selling books. Number 9. Judith Pulgar. IQ 170. Age 39. Her father tried a different educational method on her and her sisters. Through this educational method, he wanted to show that it is possible to make his children professionals in given fields, just in their young age. We have to confess that this method has worked well. At only 15, Polgar became a chess champion and broke Bobby Fischer's world record. Number 8. Sir Andrew Wiles. IQ 170. Age 62. Number of awards won. 15. In 1995, the English mathematician Sir Andrew Wiles succeeded in proving a 358-year-old math theorem called Fermat's Last Theorem. This theorem has been considered to be the most difficult one in the world. For his great contribution to mathematics, Wiles got the Sir rank before his name. Number 7. Paul Allen. IQ 170. Age 63 scored 1,600 points on the SAT. One of the founders of Microsoft, Paul Allen has undoubtedly proved his incredible ability to turn his intellect into money. Along with being the 48th richest man in the world with his fortune of over $14.2 billion and being the owner of many companies, he is also one of the greatest investors in charity work. Number 6. James Woods. IQ 180. Age, 68. Awards, three Emmys and two Oscar nominations. There's not a mistake, though he is not a scientist, Woods is a real genius. He's reached incredible scores on SATs. Perhaps he would have made a great scientist, but he caught the actor virus and left school for good. If he had continued his academic education, it's difficult to guess his probable high positions he would be on today. Number 5. Gary Kasparov, IQ 190, age 52, awards, owner of the first degree chess player record. Gary Kasparov still keeps his record. When he won the youngest chess player appellation, he was only 22. In 2015, he gave up chess and took up politics and writing. Number 4, Rick Rosner, IQ 192, age 55. You don't expect Rosner with an IQ of 192 to be mainly known as Jimmy Kimmel's TV writer, do you? But he is not an ordinary genius. Whatever does his background not include, striptease, waiter on skates, modeling, and so forth. Number 3. Kim Ung Yong. IQ 210. Age 52. The saying amazing child today is quite often used. But when it comes to Kim Ung Yong, using this saying would be just underestimating his childhood abilities. As a two year old boy, he spoke four languages as his mother tongue, and when he was four years old, he attended university. If this is not enough, he was invited by NASA to work in the European Union when he was only eight years old. Number 2. Christopher Harada, IQ 225, age 33. This name wakens every genius's envy. Only 14, he was accepted into Caltech. 16 years old, he began working on projects like the colonization of Mars, and later on, as a 22-year-old young scientist, he got his PhD from the Princeton University. Number 1. Terence Tao. IQ, 230. Age, 40. At the age of 2, when most of us are still learning to connect simple words and walk by small steps, Tao was able to handle simple arithmetic tasks. Later on, when he was nine, he took part in university-level math courses, and as a 20-year-old youngster, he got his PhD from the University of Princeton. He became the youngest professor ever at the University of California when he was only 24 years old.